Hello, you multi. Uh, melodramatic. Modern. Yep. Molecules. Mechanics. There we have it. That's a malt mention. And a big malt mention thank you to Neil Burton. So welcome all you whiskey fans and malt mates and pat pals and whiskey curious people. I'm Ralphie in the Bothy. It's where I sit and review whiskey and review distilleries and review high-end quality, slow sipping, interesting, substantial and delicious spirits. And uh, this is Ralphie Review 1015. And uh, the view is being recorded in February 2024 and is part of a long, long line of reviews that I've already done. And there's quite a lot of reviews all, well, still to do. But uh, before I tackle them, I'm going to tackle this. This is a bottle of Ardna Merkin single malt. It is a Highland whiskey, uh, West Highlands. And the reason I'm reviewing this is that Ardna Merkin won in the category of best young distillery, right? Um, the top award, first place in the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards 2023. That's oswa, O S W A dot co dot UK. And in case you haven't scanned and checked out the Oswiz. Uh, I know many of you watching have, you know all about it, but some of you don't. I recommend it. You'll find a link down in the description box below this video. And Arda Merkin won in the category, which was really quite competitive because there are a lot of new distilleries. And to be a young distillery, you must be no more than 10 years of age. And Ardna Merkin just qualify because this distillery started producing whiskey in 2014. So in fact, at the moment of recording this, just under 10 years ago. Um, the, the distillery is located in on the Ardna Merkin Peninsula, which is a particularly remote part of the Highlands, because basically there's one road in and one road out, and the only reason you go to Ardna Merkin is for isolation. So not exactly the most commercially convenient location to place a distillery. However, the owners of this particular business have considerable experience in the game of making Scotch whisky and they know how important location is and also they have considerable access to the expertise of others within the whisky industry who can confirm and guide them into getting the right location to producing the most interesting of spirits. It's what uh, would be called in um, occult circles as provenance or feng shui. Right. Um, I've not got quite to the bottom of it yet myself. And why, why is this distillery so significant whilst it's still still so young. I mean, there's a number of reasons for this, um, and I'm really kind of narrowing it down as to why, uh, particularly amongst the online Scotch whisky community and the wider community of quality spirit sippers around the world, Ardna Merkin has very rapidly achieved nothing short of a certain cult status. Um, which many older and far more established distilleries, despite the fact that they have the heritage of old buildings and interesting stories relating to their history, they simply don't have the status. And there's many peers of Ardna Merkin distillery, distilleries that opened at roughly the same time that barely get mentioned in online whiskey circles. Uh, so why is that? Because the majority of new distilleries are making perfectly competent spirit. But to get recognition, right, it has to be more than competent. 
It has to be singular. You, we need to have the singularity of the single malt. And this is something that Ardna Merkin, from the very first bottling that they've done for general commercial release, in other words, available not as the inaugural bottling, right, the collectible bottling, but as the standard first market offering. I mean, I've got a bottle here. I'm going to kind of briefly review it for you, tell you all about it, and simply discuss why I think Ardna Merkin have a certain status. Well, it's not a certain status, it's a considerable status. And also why I think, you know, they're really looking after it. And I'll, I'll cover this further, I'll go into even more depth in Ralphie Review 1015 Extras, which will be the video coming along after this one. So, I've poured a glass. Um, what's all the fuss about? This, by the way, is AD, right, to Ardnamurkin Distillery, 0121, so it was bottled in January of 2021, so it's roughly about six year old single malt. And it's the first batch after the inaugural release. What's significant is, for starters, it's clearly natural colour. It would be lovely if they actually kind of said it, right? It really would help. It, it, would, it would underscore the narrative, put it that way. But this is unchill filtered. You can see its natural colour. Um, there's no fake tan in that. It's bottled at 46.8%. It doesn't carry an age statement, but because of the date in the narrative on the label, you can easily, if you've got any knowledge of the distillery, you can quickly work out what age it is. Now this is, quite rightly, um, a combination of approximately 65% Ex bourbon casks, first fill, with 35% uh, ex Oloroso stroke PX casks, um, maturing together, being married together, being properly rested with the bottling strength being brought down sympathetically and not rushed. It really comes across in the experience. For a young whiskey, it's got a lot to say for itself, and the delivery is very professional. It's something that it never really used to get talked about too much, but times have changed, and the self-education that malt fans are getting primarily through the internet, in fact, almost exclusively now through the internet, along with some books some noteworthy books, which I'll, I'll mention in a future video, are really the, the prime source of, of authentic information and importantly, opinion. Opinion and reference by experienced whiskey drinkers, which help the inexperienced gain more experience far more quickly than in the old days before the internet appeared. Now, enough of me talking about and introducing the the, the malt, how about the smell, how about the taste, and a little bit more about why Ardna Merkin won the award for best young distillery. Let's start with the nose. Immediately you put your nose to the glass, you're getting fresh tinned pears, soft fudgy barley sugar, a little bit of light smoke in the background and you're most certainly getting a very substantially made new make spirit which has weathered the casks exceptionally well because the casks are of very good quality. It's as simple as that. Um, as I mentioned in a, a recent video, it's easy to make whiskey. It is. Anybody can do it. But it's doing it well. It's like saying, you know, it's easy to play the piano. You can pick it up a little simple tune in a couple of days, but if you want to be a concert performance grade, you need a lot more practice and experience. 
And this is something that really shows in the spirit. The team behind it are doing an absolutely fantastic job. And furthermore, this isn't an exclusive single malt. It's an inclusive single malt. This first properly commercial batch after the inaugural release has been over 16,000 bottles. So it's not designed to run out um, and people are struggling to find a bottle because it's sold out and now it's getting flipped at auction. Arden and Merkin team have seen the way the wind is blowing and they have put out sufficient numbers of bottles that <coughs> you can still go out three years later, three years later, and you'll still find this bottling for sale in quite a number of retailers, either high street specialists or in the big online retail hubs, particularly in the UK. It's a wonderful, engaging, the first nose, you know it's something really decent, something substantial, right up there with Benromach and Springbank, right up there with Isle of Arran and Glencadam and Deanston. And there's no airs and graces and pretensions about Ardna Merkin. There's no disingenuous marketing cookie cutter filler trash getting peddled here. And that, frankly, is very refreshing. It makes this authentic rather than contrived. And that, by the way, matters more now than it ever has done in the past. In the past, we could tolerate the, the flannel and the, the long stories. Now, we hear them so often, they're wearing very, very thin. So when you get a distillery who underplay their hand and completely understate their message, it works. This is, in fact, flip marketing. It's discovery marketing. It's a whole new phenomenon in whiskey which has never been really seen or registered before. And it's working so, so well for a small number of distilleries, including Loch Lee, for example, and now um, Isle of Rassi and Isle of Harris. You know, this is, it is this subtle, subtle messaging suggested and in informal conversation and importantly in in authentic engagement with online communicators which I've been fortunate enough to have with Ardna Merkin and so has my co-host of the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards Roy Duff and it's something that we understand and appreciate and value and we know that you do too. Right back to the whiskey I mean, let's get on with this taste. Full bodied. Aggressively citrus. Lemon, lemon, lemon curd, lemon jam, lemon rind, lemon peel, grapefruit, pineapple, pickled pineapple in there. A beautiful soft almost ethereal background banana note and then a little bit of umami a little bit of sharp savory soft bitter subtle understated wonderfully balanced and rounded i would say this is a far more balanced uh, and successful version of Ardna Merkin than in fact their first inaugural bottling. Now you may be wondering, Mom, hey Ralphie, why have you taken so long to get round to reviewing this? So, I mean, I opened this bottle when I bought it in 2021, but at the time I thought, no, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to bump up distilleries and try and publicize distilleries which are already very successful at publicising themselves discreetly and authentically. So I'll just hold fire and I'll leave the bottle for another day. So here we are, three years later. 
yeah, just short of three years later, I'm finally getting round to reviewing it in the context that Ardna Merkin has won the category on in the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards of Best Young Distillery. Uh, a title or a, an accolade it can't go for in next year's and this year's, sorry, on Online Scotch Whiskey Awards because it no longer qualifies. It's too old. I'm going to have to drop a water to this. Do you know... One of the things that really separates the rest from the best is when you add a modest amount of water, teaspoon, five millilitres, clean, fresh, chlorine free, well rested water, and you add it to the glass and it lifts and enhances and it gives volume to the whiskey rather than just making the whiskey taste diluted as you would have in most, well, certainly Johnny Walker Black Label, very much the case in that bottling these days. But here we go. Soft, slightly fudgy, butterscotch, creamy cereal note. The nose The nose echoes what's coming across in the palate. The two tie in very well. Once you've added water, the menthol, the almost Irish pot still references start to come through. These green notes, peppermint, mint, sage, green herbs, thyme, a little bit of thyme. And for me, just a little bit of bay leaf. So you're getting that menthol, slightly soft eucalyptus note. And the whole body of, of, of the experience just kind of stretches beautifully. Remarkably so for, for a whiskey so young. It has, within the bottle, you've got a young whiskey that is presenting maturity beyond its brief years in the cask. And this is a very good sign of not just a good whiskey, but a great whiskey and a great reputation in the making. Delicious stuff. I absolutely agree with the entire online Scotch whiskey community in awarding Ardner Merkin the title of Best Young Distillery 2023. For, for one very, very selfish and practical reason and that is that Scotland needs really really needs to hold on to its reputation now by having distilleries of the caliber of Ardna Merkin because it is a burden that Springbank can no longer carry on its small shoulders. There needs to be more distilleries that have the recognition that Springbank at the moment has had all to itself for too long. And Ardna Merkin is with each subsequent bottling and there's been quite a few releases now and I'll introduce one to you shortly in my extras which is the timing is nothing short of perfect it is in fact a lighthouse a beacon to not just the way whiskey scotch whiskey should be made but how it should be made the philosophy behind the delivery of the product which is the sum of many parts and these individual parts have been done correctly and authentically with their, their, within their own reference from the conditioning of the grain to the preparation of the wort, the fermentation, everything. People in that distillery really know what they're doing and let's give this a, a, a malt mark. And it's a good one. 84 out of 100. That, for a, for a very young whisky, is, is very respectable. And, and my prediction is we're going to see great things from Ardna Merkin in the future. That is my prediction. 
Mop mates, it's been a joy, it's been a pleasure, it's never, never a second is wasted in these videos. And I'll tell you why, because here's me sitting at the barrel, sipping single malt. I could be sitting on a big fluffy puffy couch, watching crap on television, but I'm not. I'm here because this is so much more substantial, satisfying and fun to do. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I make it. I have I've enjoyed preparing this review for you. Yes, no script. I don't need scripts these days. I just wing it. <laughs> Which is why you get the occasional bloopers. But have you spotted any bloopers in this particular video? Hmm? Have you? No, you haven't. Because there haven't been any. Yet. Ha ha ha.